Right, Lesotho elections 2015. Let's cross now to our SABC contributing editor, Vuyo Mvoko. He is in Lesotho. Vuyo, a very, very good morning to you. Well, it looks like it may be another coalition government from what we're seeing over here. Uh, doesn't that take Lesotho back to exactly where it was before? A very good morning to you. Well, you're right, Lee, and certainly from what we are being told by political parties here, um, it looks like Lesotho is going for yet another coalition government. Uh, the difference, of course, uh, political parties tell us is that uh, in all likelihood it will be a marriage of like-minded political parties, like-minded leaders this time around, unlike uh, the last time where really people who were never brought by anything, who never had anything in common um, had to come together and uh, form a government. I must point out though that from the election, from the uh, results that have come through so far, uh, it is the ABC of uh, uh, Prime Minister uh, Tom Tabane that is leading. But do remember that the parties, political parties, especially the big ones, do have um, uh, uh, party agents throughout the country and they are able to do their own tallies. That is where we are getting the sense that it looks like it's going to be another a coalition. But then um, beyond that, parties do tell us that it shouldn't bother Basutu too much if uh, Lesotho is going to yet another coalition. Because this time around, they are better prepared to handle a coalition than was the case um, two years ago. So they reckon there isn't, uh, as much as there's a lot at stake, there isn't a hell lot to worry about because they think that whatever coalition is formed it'll perform better they did go to places like New Zealand to get off get a sense of how they do things there and as a result um, they have confidence that um, a coalition government will work better this time around Leanne? yeah final results we are when when can we expect them Well, it is a slow and tardy progress, uh, a process here. Um, there's a lot of uh, sort of manual tabulation of these results that goes on. I mean, it took them uh, about what, 24 hours to go through just over 30 out of 80 constituencies. So we're probably looking at another day um, still that's, in fact, at the earliest. Sure. Free and fair? I know that's the word on the, on the ground um, that many people have declared it free and fair. It didn't look like there were any incidences that uh, could have hampered the elections. Is, is that still the sense in Lesotho? Certainly. I mean, from uh, about nine o'clock, we're going to have briefings every hour by all uh, the uh, observer missions. And uh, all of them, having spoken to them already, they are so proud of what Basutu did, but they are also proud of what SADC, the regional body, did to help Basutu get to this point. Everything went peacefully and, and nothing, no incidents of violence, no incidents uh, of intimidation, and uh, the the Independent Electoral Commission themselves were also like did a, a lot of good work so no one has complained about anything the parties themselves are happy so no one is going to it doesn't look like anyone will turn around and say I can accept this result because of uh, some problem or another everything went smoothly and everyone who has a stake in this election seems to agree all right, Fuyam Voko, thank you very, very much for joining us. As you say, things constantly changing. We will cross to you a little bit later on in the next hour of the program here on Morning Live. Really, SABC keeping a close eye on the elections in Lesotho. Well, now, of course, it's the result outcome. Uh, let's take a break. When we return, Ayanda brings us the news at 7. Stay tuned.